I divided my video into two, part one and part two. In part one, I want to talk to you about how to sell your original artwork and how to sell your digital art. And the part two is going to be about print on demand. Now let's start with part one. The first one is Saatchi Art. Saatchi Art is accepting old artworks from both emerging artists and established artists and they are taking 35% commission. When you visit their website, I really like their categorization because for example, you can see 2022 bestsellers or their paintings, drawings, sculpture and photography. You can also see art for every space best of spring or virtual edition live there's also paintings abstract art oil paintings landscapes under 500 dollars large works new this week this category is this categorization is really helpful when the person comes and tries to find a specific type of artwork the second one is art finder and for art finder you have to submit four or six images first of your artwork and then they are going to decide if they approve then you can start selling there is a free plan but then also there are plus plans if you are on a free plan then art finder will take 40 percent commission from each sales from the selling price and if you are in let's say standard plan then you're they are going to get 33 percent but then you will be also paying um, $12 per month. And for the pro plan, they will still get 33% of commission, but they will only charge you $5 a month. Each package has different requirements, so you should go to their website and check them out. Amazon Handmade. So Amazon is not the first place I think people would go to to buy original artworks, but it doesn't mean that you cannot sell. And people usually sell their handmade work there. Amazon Handmade has the commission of 15.1% and this includes shipping. Amazon also has Prime option, as you know, and your listing doesn't expire. So these are the plus. Artplode has a different style. They don't ask for any commission or fees, but you have to pay an upfront $60 payment for each listing. So that's the only thing they're asking for. So they don't care if you sell or you don't sell. They just want that $60 for the space. Yes. YouGallery.com. YouGallery.com is one of the most serious art platforms in the world right now. They have a jury and if they say, okay, yeah, we like your artwork, then you can have your artwork featured on their website. Also, they take 50% commission, just like a real gallery. And in order to get their approval, you have to submit 10 images first and pay $5 and wait to hear back from them. Another great place that you can sell your original artwork is Etsy. And I'm sure you're not very surprised. Etsy is a great platform, although it's very oversaturated right now. It's hard to be found, so you need to do your own marketing or you have to make sure that you have as many listings as possible. And also you have to make sure that you are using the right keywords. For Etsy, it's $0.2 for each listing and every month the listing will be renewing. Also, they say that they have five to 15% sales fee for each sale. Artpal is another option that you can sell your original artwork. And the plus side of Artpal is you can also sell print on demand not only the original artwork. This is a great passive income, if you ask me. Another great side of ArtPal is there is no fee. They don't take commission? Let me see. I need Google ArtPal commission. Wow, there are no membership fees or no commission. So if you wanna start from scratch, definitely ArtPal is what you have to go for. You have to check out for each platform how they accept the payments or how they actually pay you as an artist. Most of the time it is uh, through PayPal. That's the most common one that I've seen. But for the United States, there's also a check option. <laughs> I can't believe we are still using checks. And also there's an option of wire transfer. So you have to check each platform out for that. And before I switch to digital art, I just want to tell you my opinion about all these platforms that I just told you about for selling your original artwork. What is striking here in this list is all of them are kind of search engines. So people actually can go and type up, let's say, landscape oil painting and your listing might come up. It depends on how long you were listed in that platform, 
how many reviews you have or you know how active you are how many listings you have that are active so you have to make sure that you're doing everything right in order to be found so the fact that these platforms are also search engines is a great advantage they are not just shops the online shops that people have to find you through your instagram or your facebook or your TikTok, but they actually go into that website to buy artwork and they find you here i cannot pick a favorite because it really depends on who you want to serve to and who you need to think about your buyer and what kind of qualities they want and where would they be hanging out etsy is a more crafty side but i know that people are still buying original artworks from etsy but amazon for example is somewhere you would go if you're buying i don't know um, my art supplies for example or something I need really quick and cheap but if I'm taking you gallery really seriously because they are not accepting every application then if I know that as a buyer I might just go there and buy my art from there before I switch to digital art there is a website called paint my life if you're interested in you know taking commissions through a third party then this could be a good site because i really like the reviews for digital art i'm going to give you three options the first one is no surprise etsy when you say digital art you don't even think about etsy maybe right away but you can sell your digital products on etsy for example my highlight covers that i use on instagram i bought them from etsy for five dollars or something like this so if you are selling your artwork in a more digital way like a jpeg format or a high quality poster size PNG format, you can also sell it on Etsy. Number two is Fiverr. Fiverr.com is like a freelancer website, but there are so many artists who are selling their art in digital format there. It is a little bit cheap, and the reason is there are so many people from different countries with different exchange rates. So even though they sell it for $5, it feels like $50 in their own country. So they pick this option more often so if you're from united states um, or if you're i don't know a wealthy country then it might be a little bit difficult to make money from there but hey it's just a digital copy of your art it's a passive income so you would never know and you can take commissions from there so definitely you need to check out fiverr don't underestimate fiverr guys there are so many great creators out there for example, I had hired someone to do my books, digital art. I mean, I drew them, I had the initial drafts, but this lady, she turned my drawings into digital art. And for 16 of them, I think I paid $350 or something like that. It was three years ago, so it's not terrible. And finally, I want to talk to you about ArtStation. On ArtStation, besides selling your art digitally, you can also sell some prints of your art. This is it for today's part, but in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about part two, which is print on demand. If besides selling, you have other parts of your art business, just like me, then you might have some questions about then you might have some questions about how to start your online art business. If that's the case, these tips will help you tremendously. 